So there is only one moment. But in this one moment, which we call in our human language presence, in the here and now, the power of now, here-ness, this unchanging moment that accepts change, this moment, everything is contained with it, you see. Any idea that you have about God or any imaginatory, physical, that what was never named before but is now named because we give it a name and we create the names. That what every thought arises from, every experience, every action, every molecule, every atom. The consciousness that it is, the I, that stabilizes it all, stabilizes it all. The spirit, the soul, the afterlife, this life, all encompassing life, all contained in this one moment. All human states, happiness, anger, joy, pain, pleasure, Sadness, depression, love, all contained in this one moment. No mind can understand what this moment is, because mind is born from it. You don't understand your father or your mother, just like you are, you don't understand any other being, meaning you cannot put yourself into their bodies to fully understand what they're thinking, what they're feeling and what they're doing. So you were born from your father and your mother, just like the mind is born from this one moment, just like consciousness is born from this one moment, just like God and Atman, Brahman, whatever, absolute source, whatever you want to call it, is born from this one moment. So this one moment supersedes all religion, all science, all spirituality, all livingness, all death, all birth. It cannot be touched. It is undiminishing, untouched, untarnished. It is unsta it's stainless. It's, it's, it's transcendental. It's not even visible. It's not, e it's not visible nor invisible. How do you know this? The only way you know that is to let go of everything that is held within this one moment to fully, fully experience the flavor of what you are. To deny. To deny God, to deny Brahman. That's the thoughts, that's the ideas, that's the experiences, that's the conditioning, that's the information. That's the imaginations, that's the experiences, the actions, everything that a human being that you've been told to experience or to accept in your life has to be denied. And what is denied is one moment within yourself, as yourself, reveals itself in its wholeness, in its holiness. But it cannot be maintained. I, I think one of the one of the closest closest way to describe it is what Muji said. If you can imagine a kiss on your lips from the most one that you truly love, that very soft, intimate and beautiful, incredibly loving moment. That's what this one moment remains when it's revealed to itself. A kiss within. A never-ending kiss. This kiss is here and now. This is the most intimate connection to the moment. This is the most liberating and free experience to the moment. This is the truth to the moment. I hope 
this moment brings you happiness. In whatever way you look or you think happiness is. I hope this moment brings you whatever you are here to, to be and see. I hope this moment is loving and kind to you and compassionate. I hope this moment is true and that it allows you to reveal your genuinity, your originality. I hope this moment kisses you and leaves you completely kissed, completely mesmerised. As Rumi says, I was drunk with this kiss. Never regain sobriety. Always here, always now. I hope that you discover love. Discover yourself. Discover the moment that we all collectively are in all ways. I truly hope you've enjoyed some of these talks. I truly hope that something was worth it. I truly hope you live long and prosperous lives within this body. I truly hope that we all can be one in whatever way, in whatever state and whatever moment that consciousness wants to reveal itself as. In this moment only love exists. And with this knowledge, all there is to say is I truly love that what it is. And that what it is, is appearing as all that is, including you. So love cannot be a passing, love cannot be in intersected, intermediate. It cannot be bit by bit. It is ongoing. It is still. It is here. It is now. So therefore, is there any need for me to say, this body, the speaker, to say, I love you? Or is it not instant? Is it not always here? What can break love? What can dis dissect love? What can be here except the true love that we are? Good luck and prosper. Be yourself. Be genuine. Be content. Be Buddha. Be here now. Be here. Yes.